system. Call it a Christmas miracle, NASA's James Webb Telescope finally set the blast off tomorrow. Assuming there's no more weather delays, the massive telescope will launch into space with a special sun shield attached. This is a big deal. Let's bring in Derek Pitts, chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute, joining us this morning. Always good to see you. Merry Christmas Eve good morning. to you, Derek. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Thanks for having me. Always great. So this is almost like the, the Hubble telescope on steroids, right? Oh, it is. Yes, that's true. This is a sort of like the successor to Hubble Space Telescope. It works a little bit differently in that it looks at a different portion of the spectrum, but that allows it to gather information from objects that are so far away, not even Hubble Space Telescope can see them. So this is a really great instrument to have on board now. Now, how far, how far are we talking in terms of distance? Well, this is a really interesting part about this. You know, Hubble Space Telescope orbits at about 400 miles above the surface of the Earth, and it orbits around the planet and takes pictures out in space. This spacecraft is going to go to a location one million miles out from Earth, and in that way, it'll be placed in the right position for the kind of observations it's mm -hmm. going to make. But what that means is that this telescope will not be serviceable like Hubble Space Telescope will be serviceable. So... Everybody has their fingers crossed that everything is going to work perfectly. Hopefully it's going to last, as in with real estate, location, location, location. So this is basically going to open up a whole new window into the cosmos. Yes, it will, because this telescope is essentially going to be sensing heat information from objects that are really, really, really far out. It's the, the telescope is, has a very special coating on the surface that makes it highly sensitive to infrared radiation, the heat radiation, and it has such high resolution that it can pinpoint these very, very discrete objects all the way out at the very edge of the universe so that we can essentially sort of like get a baby picture of the universe, see what the universe looked like just after it was born. So it will give us some really great information to help complete the story of the universe. I mean, how exciting is this for folks to just watch unfold? It feels like history in the making. Are you geeking out at Derek? Be honest. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You bet. You bet. Well, this telescope was supposed to launch back in 2007. It's had a series of delays, but you have to make a telescope like this perfect since you can't service it. But I'm really excited about this because we're going to gather new information. For example, we're going to be able to analyze planets orbiting other stars and possibly identify atmospheres orbiting those planets. I mean, that's an incredibly difficult thing to do at the distances we're talking about, like hundreds of light years away, thousands of light years away. So this is incredibly exciting for scientists and scientists all around the world will get to use this telescope. Well, I'm not a scientist, but I'm geeking out as well, my friend. So tell us how oh, big <laughs> is this thing and what's the process as far as the launch and releasing this telescope? Right, so the whole telescope itself is about the size of a tennis court. We had a model at the Franklin Institute a few years ago, and it was so big, the only place we could put it was out on the front steps. And so the sequence goes like this. First, the spacecraft gets launched uh, tomorrow morning. It takes about a month to get out to its location a million miles out. Then what it has to do is it has to very carefully unfold itself from the sort of like origami package folding that been done to get it to fit inside the launch vehicle and then once it gets to that location and it opens up perfectly then it's going to take another five and a half months or so to check out all the different systems to make sure everything's working properly so it'll be about six months before we get the first images from uh, from this new telescope how cool is that Derek thank you so much can't wait to see the images welcome. Derek You're so, welcome. so tomorrow track of it. 725 is the schedule launch between 725 and 755. How can we watch this? Oh, you can go online and watch this at NASA's website. NASA.gov will be carrying this. You'll also be able to find it on YouTube. It'll Perfect. be all around, so if you want to view it, and you really should see it, yeah. because this launch is taking place from uh, South America. It's on a different launch vehicle, an Ariane uh, launch vehicle, so it should be a really, really exciting launch to see. It really is historic. I know what you'll be doing on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to you, Derek. Always good hey, to you see you. You bet. I sure will. Merry Christmas to you, too. Still ahead this morning.